The lines are on the move and due to a larger member of the African bush arriving, they got a whiff of the lines and gave a good trumpet. See what's happening. Let's get a bit closer. So Amber's gone up there. As you can see, that trumpet oh, sidetracked by an elephant dung ball that rolled. Now the elephant herd is the half trunk herd. So actually a herd we had last night. Okay, I'm going to get into a position. I think they might chase the lions. So let's just get into a position where we're going to be able to see both. Now the cubs are quite oblivious playing with elephant dung. The elephants have stopped. There are the ellies. Now the cubs are running after mom. Now Amber's just up ahead. Now I have seen lion cubs of this age show some tremendous speed when being charged by elephants. This is absolutely, absolutely magical. Um, we've got two of Africa's big five in the same place. We might get to see some interspecies interaction. Now, even though these lions pose almost zero threat to the elephants, the elephants just really don't like predators. But it seems like now that the lions have got up or downwind, sorry, of the ellies, there's half trunk. But we're going to stick with the lions. Now, Amber's headed straight up the road where we first found her. And I'm wondering, could we possibly be lucky enough to see the first introduction of these cubs to their cousins. Are you still with the crowd of lions? I love the way little lion cubs jog after mom, trying to keep up. <laughs> and uh, you can see they're not quite the most coordinated yet because there's often a little stumble or trip. You can hear squirrels alarming at the lions. Just make out Amber Lioness. She was right up ahead of them there. Could we be in for the biggest treat ever, seeing these lions meet up with the rest of the pride? And particularly what I'm really looking forward to seeing is them, the meeting of the cubs. So meeting their cousins. So it could be quite a rambunctious affair. Now, Chris Rogue's wondering, would the lionesses cause a diversion for the cubs to hide? I have seen a lioness sort of charge at an elephant with cubs 
giving the Cubs a chance, but normally the Cubs instinctively get out of dodge uh, in enough time. Okay, so here go the lines in there. I'm going to just jump up ahead of them because if they are going to meet the rest of the pride, we want to be on the other side as they walk in. So we're going to leave the, the 